Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are talking about an important topic. What can my doctor tell my parents? Here's the questions I'm gonna answer for you today. Can I make a doctor's appointment by myself? Will my parents be asked to leave the room? Can I get birth control on my own? Can I get screened for sexually transmitted infections on my own? Is what I discuss with my doctor confidential? What might show up on my parents' insurance? What about access to my medical record? Can my parents see that? And lastly, where do I go if I want confidential or free care? So before I answer any of these, I wanna talk about honesty. I believe honesty is the best policy. And if you're a teenager or a young person watching this, I know that's not always possible. But if you can partner with your parents, I'd love you to try. And if you're a parent who's watching this and is not liking me right now because I'm telling your teenagers how to access care, I want you to know that by you showing that you can have open conversations with them, your teenager is more likely to share with you. And we know that when teenagers know that they can have confidential care with their doctor, they're more likely to take care of their bodies. There's actually been some studies looking at this and teenagers who don't feel that they can ask confidential questions still do all the same stuff. They just don't do it as safely. So if you guys can have an open relationship and talk about these things, I am all for it. However, I know that's not always the reality, so this is about information, and you have the right to know how to care for your body, so I'm giving you evidence-based information to make that happen. As always, all the references I mentioned are in the show notes, and these are ones you are going to not want to miss. All right, let's get to the questions. First questions first. Can I make a doctor's appointment by myself? Yes, you can. And that's gonna be the easiest question I can answer all day, but I am going to get into what that doctor's appointment, what can be shared from that doctor's appointment, so stay tuned. All right, question number two. Will my parents be asked to leave the room? So any pediatrician, family physician, OBGYN, any doctor where they are seeing a teenager or somebody who comes in with their parents and they're kind of at that age, they should be asking their parent to leave the room. If you're concerned that your doctor might not do that and you for sure have something you want to share with your doctor privately, feel free to call the office ahead of time, like the day of your visit, and just ask that a note be made in your chart that you are guaranteed that you are interviewed alone and your doctor will ask. Moving along, question number three, can I get birth control on my own? I wish I could tell you that yes, you can, and in every state it's the same. It depends on the state where you live. And I hate that in 2020 in the United States of America, that's how we're operating. Your access to care should not be determined based on your zip code, and yet it is. So here's where I first wanna introduce this great resource to you called the Guttmacher Institute. And that's a really strange name and a really strange word, but Guttmacher is where it's at when it comes to determining access to confidential care. So this table here, which I am going to link to in the show notes, you can go down to your state and you you can see everything that I'm talking about today. Can you get birth control, STI testing, that kind of thing. So you can look up your state there. Next question, can I get STI testing on my own? Yes, you can in the United States of America, you can. But some states have age cutoffs. So again, go to that Guttmacher table and take a look. Here's probably the question you're wondering about. Is everything I discuss with my doctor confidential? And the answer is yes and no. So first and foremost, if you ever tell us that you are having thoughts of hurting yourself or hurting somebody else, we are required to intervene and let people know, whether it's your parents or the authorities, because we took an oath to protect people, to protect you and to protect people around you. Not talking about that, it depends, <laughs> once again. I may be sounding like a broken record here, but the laws vary by state, and again, the Guttmacher reference is where it's at. So here's an example. 18 states in the United States allow a physician to let a parent know if their child has come in to request sexually transmitted infection testing, if they think it would benefit the child. So it's not that they require it, but it is allowed. And it's important if that's a state in which you live. You're going to want to clear that up ahead of time, and I'll get to that. So go down, look at that table, and where you see the little star, the little aster asterisk, that's the one where if you live in a state where they could tell your parents. Here's a related question. So what might show up on my parents' insurance? And here's where it gets a little bit tricky. So if you go to a doctor and you pay with insurance and it's your parents' insurance, there is a possibility that on the explanation of benefits, basically the piece of paper that's mailed to them that said, hey, your insurance was is being billed for this, it could show up that you asked for gonorrhea chlamydia screening or that you were you had counseling about birth control. So it could show up. There is a way to prevent this or to try to work around it. So before anything's done, you can discuss your concerns with your doctor and he or she can potentially code the visit differently so that it shows up in a different way on your, that EOB statement. You could also pay cash and not go through insurance. You, instead of going to your doctor that you normally see with insurance, you could go to a free clinic or get free samples and there's more on that coming. Thankfully, some states have smartened up and allow minors, which are people under the age of 18, to contact their insurance and request that an EOB not be sent to their parents or that things not be put on there. California is a great example of this. And guess what? I've got another Guttmacher reference for you that has a table that shows the states that do this. So check it out in the show notes. Next question. 
what can my parents access in my medical record? And again, here's where it kind of gets tricky when it comes to electronic medical records, which are awesome because you can look up your lab tests at home, but if you're on your parents' insurance and they're linked to your account, they could log in too. And that's where confidentiality could get a little sticky. So here's some workarounds. You can ask that your parents not be given access. Either you can ask your parents and say, mom, I really don't want you to have access to my doctors, you know, my personal information. And some I'm sure will respect that and some may feel like, oh gosh, what is she trying to hide from me? You can also ask your doctor's office not to grant that information to their parents, but it might depend on state or office policy. You can also let your doctor know that you have concerns about that. And so your doctor may say, you know what, I'm not going to document in your electronic chart what we're talking about here today. I'll keep a separate set of notes where your parents don't have access or something like that. And again, this is not about hiding things from parents because parents, if you're watching this and that's the vibe that you're getting, that's not what it's about. It's about empowering your teenager to feel that he or she can go to the doctor and have their concerns addressed and not feel that they're going to get punished for it or get retribution from it when they get home. It's really great if they want to take control of their health care. So helping them do that and treating them as the adults they, they practically are is really important. All right, last question. Where do I go if I want confidential or free care? Maybe you just don't feel comfortable going to your pediatrician or to the OBGYN who also takes care of your mother. I totally understand that. And there are options. So looking at local family planning clinics, so one that comes to mind is Planned Parenthood, but that's not the only one that's available. There are lots of county clinics and health departments that offer low cost, sliding scale, so depending on how much money you make, that's how much you pay, or free care. And a lot of times they have free samples for different birth control samples, and they don't just do birth control. They do sexually transmitted infection screening, they do breast exams, they do cervical cancer screening. They're there to talk about depression, substance abuse, so it's really a primary care situation. Also, some schools have school clinics, so you can totally ask your school nurse or your school clinic what services they provide, and again, clarify that confidentiality piece before you even start, that way you know Know where you stand before you start getting care. Lastly, there are mail order services for sexually transmitted infection testing and birth control, not just the pill, but also the ring, the patch, um, those kinds of things. And so you can look online. There are lots of different services. You're going to want to ask the same questions about confidentiality, about payment. You could ask that it be mailed to a different address. And again, this is not about hiding the fact that you're on birth control. I really would love it if you could share that information with your parents. But if you're still going to have sex and you don't feel like you can talk to your parents about it, I'd rather you make an informed decision and protect yourself. I hope answering all those questions was useful to you. If you have any other questions about confidentiality and going to the doctor, drop them in the comments and I'll either answer them there or maybe I'll make another YouTube. I truly believe that teenagers and young people who are on their parents' insurance have the right to privacy, the right to access good care, and the right to protect their bodies. And at the end of the day, we all wanna take care of ourselves. And I know lots of really responsible teenagers who are doing an amazing job. And parents, this one's for you. Talk to your teenagers. They want you to be involved. They want to feel that they can go to you. I don't have teenagers yet, but I will very soon. And so I know that it's all about open communication and it's not about hiding things. As always, like, subscribe, turn on notifications so that you know when I put up another YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and as always, I love having you guys here. Have a great day.